Welcome to Colossal Cave. Before a Ooh. small brick building. It's fucking beautiful. Oh, well. Wonderfully immersive. Oh my god, thank you, Roberta. Frustratingly complex Here she is. Game. <laughs> so this is the inventory page. Like I said, very limited inventory. Technically it's eight, but one of them is the map. So you have seven inventory slots. A large owl seems to be watching you. Hi. There is a small wicker cage discarded nearby. I don't have a lot of space on me, but I will take that for now. Oh, here's another thing about this game. You gotta save. <laughs> it says Zizzy. Hell yeah, it does. Zizzy, I believe, is the teleporting spell. It only works at the... Uh, as long as I'm not messing that up, like confusing that with another spell. I think that's the teleportation one that only works when you're by that rock uh, or, or in this room. I love bats. I'd like to see a couple of bats. Oh my gosh, it's actually... Oh, bats! A cheerful little bird is sitting here singing. You have captured the bird. I feel a little bit guilty about that. Save the game. <laughs> Okay, I have a bird in a cage. That, I presume, will be useful for something. In fact, I know that it will. Uh, but what? I'm not sure. Oh, entering a new area. At your feet oh my goodness. is a small pit breathing traces of mist. A white mist, usually water, seen from time to time in caverns. It can be found anywhere but is frequently a sign of a deep pit leading down to water. Lovely. I mean, creepy, but lovely. This is interesting. At your feet is a small pit breathing traces of mist. That's just the pit. You're at the east end of a vast hall stretching out of sight to the west. Oh. There are openings to either side. To the north, a cold wind blows up from a wide stone staircase leading but downward. There's a diggy diggy the hole man up there. The filled with wisps of white mist swaying to and fro, almost as if alive. Rough. Oh, sorry, I didn't realise that would cut him off. Okay, so I'm in. So I've just come down the stairs to the misty pit, and I'm in the hall of mists. So is that? Uh, no, that's to the south. Away to the north down that. That must be the stairs that it's referring to. There's a diggy diggy hole man up here. Hi! <sighs> Are you okay? Do you need a hand? Whoa, gold! Yeah. Good job! Hi! Oh. There is a large, sparkling nugget of gold here. Oh, treasure? Gold's gotta be treasure. What have I just seen? Looks like coal. Don't dirty your hands with it. But what if I want to? You won't get it up the steps. It says, you won't get it up the steps. Dang. They're talking about the gold, right? A pickaxe is stuck in the rock. Can I grab it? You could never pull it out, no matter how hard you try. Oh. So will I actually not be able to get this gold up the steps? How's my inventory doing? Nearly full. Very nearly full. Okay. Um. That is useless right now. That is useless it's right now. It's broken and useless. It's broken and useless. I really like the narrator. I like the narrator's voice a lot. Okay, well, I believe... Large gold nugget. At least, judging by the fact that I just got some points when I looked at it, I'm guessing that the nugget... Those steps are unclimbable while carrying that heavy gold nugget. They were right! Okay. And... Zizzy. Zizzy. Nothing happens. Nothing happens. Uh, so I, if I want to get this gold nugget out, I need to find another way. I can't go back up the steps. So, that's a dill pickle. A little dwarf. <gasps> Watch out! I don't know why that scared me. <laughs> oh! Oh! He's gone. He's gone! No problem. Okay, so there are lots of shortcuts in the cave. In and out to different spots. That's the gold chamber where we got the gold. And we got attacked by a dwarf here. There are, I believe... Let's just save the game. I believe there are six dwarves in the whole game. So if you defeat them, you know, if you defeat one, 
wherever it is, whatever happens, then there's only five dwarves left that can pop out at you, sort of thing. There must be a way to cross this fissure. Hmm. You think about leaping across the fissure, <laughs> and quickly realize that you'd rather not risk falling. Yes, that's probably not a good idea. I don't think I have anything that would Large get me across. gold nugget. No, I don't have anything on me that would get me across a fissure, so I only really have one way to go if I want to keep this <clears throat> gold on me. Of course, it could be... Although, what's down this way? Anything? You're on the east bank of a fissure slicing clear across the hole. You're on the east bank of a... The fissure is wide and deep. Okay. Um, yeah, it could be that I am supposed to leave the gold here, and then later on there's a way for me to get the gold across that fissure. Um, but for now, I'm just going to keep going. The best thing I can do is just explore and map out the rooms and kind of figure out the lay of the land. This is kind of my... I'm kind of taking the first turn, my first go as like an exploratory mission, you know? You're in the hole of the Mountain King. The hole of the Mountain Passages King! Passages off in five directions. Enigmatic statues populate this grand space. I think this song is Hall of the Mountain Enigmatic King, right? Enigmatic statues populate this grand space. Da, 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 da. Could this have been the king's throne? Can I sit on it? I can't change to my hand anymore. Ooh. So something down there. Okay, there's five exits, so... Oh gosh, I mean... A huge green fierce snake bars oh the my way. God. Oh my god. A huge green fierce snake bars the way. Will it pop back up if I go near? Yep. Oh, the snake is scared of the rod? Or is the bird scared of the rod? I think the bird might have been scared of the rod, not the snake. Or maybe it was the snake. I should have written it down. Either way... Scary! Either way, we're not getting past the snake right now. Oh, the snake is blocking all the way. Well, that's a pickle. I don't suppose you're scared of birds? Little bird in a cage. There's nothing to do with it here. Okay. <laughs> I don't know, I thought maybe it was scared of birds. It was worth a try, wasn't it? Okay. Okay, we're large gold nugget, little bird in we're a cage. We're stuck between a, a snake and a hard place. I guess we're kind of pooped right now. You're in the hole of the mountain king, with passages off in five directions. I don't suppose it's getting fire. Brass lantern. The snake doesn't seem to be interested in that. Fair enough. Little bird in a cage. Oh. Uh-oh. The little bird attacks the green snake, and in an astounding flurry, drives the snake away. Huh! Well done, little bird! Oh, it really did work! I think I'll just leave the... the wicker basket here for now. Okay, great job, snakey! I mean, birdie! Ooh! This is an ancient tomb. There is precious jewelry here. Hello, treasure! Okay. Precious jewellery. Alright. So I have some treasure on me now. Well, I have the gold as well, but I can't get the gold out. Um, in an ideal world, I would find a way to get both out at the same time. Which would be a little bit jammy. But it might be worth a try. Ooh, this goes down somewhere. Creepy and scary. Okay, bird beat snake. Remember that for future reference. Oh, goodness. You are overlooking a tight north-south canyon below. Do I want to go down? I guess... I guess I've made that decision. 
see a dwarf clearing away rocks. I don't have anything to fight them with if he's going to attack me. Hello! <laughs> Sorry. What? Sorry, right, he's run off. He's a big scaredy cat. Okay. The wide steps are blocked by a mass of boulders. Look at that. The wide steps are blocked by a mass of boulders. Okay. Ooh. Oh god, I don't know where I am. I'm just going completely. Ooh, mushroomy cave. I'm. I've gone completely. Oh, we're in the Swiss cheese room. Okay, so we went uh, down to the Hall of Mists, through the ancient hall down the stairs there, through the Hall of the Mountain King, out the West Passage. So the West Passage from the Hall of the Mountain King goes down to the Swiss cheese room. <laughs> delightful fungi are providing enchanting elimination. They are, aren't they? They are delightful. There's no use for that here. You must not touch them. They're sensitive and may shrink away. Oh, I get it. I'm sensitive. They're so pretty. Oh gosh, there's so many ways. There's so many roots and ways. I'm just kind of going. I'm kind of treating this the same way I treat, uh... Well, it's like a d20. The same way I treat fighting fantasy. I'm just kind of going for it, and then next time I'll try different parts and see what happens. That light is quite entrancing. And colourful. It's pretty. These kaleidoscopic mushrooms are trippy to say the least. They're trippy as balls, man. You must not touch them. Oh. They're sensitive and may shrink away. This is very strange. You're in a soft room. The walls are covered with heavy curtains, the floor with a thick shag carpet. Moss covers the ceiling. A small velvet pillow lies on the floor. Was that a treasure, or is that an item? Velvet pillow. Interesting. Why is this in this cave system? How bizarre. Okay, well... Okay, my inventory is now full. I feel like the Hall of the Mountain King is probably a good spot to kind of drop stuff that I don't need. I'm not sure. It's just a rock. Nothing interesting. It's just a rock. Touch at the rock. I'm loath to drop anything until I need to pick up something else, you know? Is this where I just came from? You're in bed quilt. A long east-west passage with holes everywhere. Oh, great. Bed quilt. Oops. Brass lantern. So we came from two pits. There's the secret east-west canyon that we cannot enter because the the boulders are gone or whatever. You see a sturdy ladder. Uh, I guess I'll go down here. Can't resist a sturdy ladder. Hello. It's very fucking dark. You're in a rough passage. You have crawled around in some little holes and wound up back in the main passage. Oh. Don't give up. Keep trying. Keep trying? Okay. You have crawled around in some little holes and wound up back in the main passage. Oh, maybe he means try some other holes rather than keep trying that same hole. <laughs> okay. This could be a long one then, this uh, particular cave. Oh, this. This seems good. Oh, hello. That's an enormous ribcage. What it's being used for, I can't imagine. Some kind of big old underground beastie down here. Where's that light coming from over here? There's light over here and I can't find a source. There is a threatening dwarf. A sharp knife is thrown. Ah, uh, please! It missed. Okay. I... Oh, he's gone. 
I have nothing to defend myself with right now, so... I just kind of have to hope that they miss. That's an enormous ribcage. What it's and being used for, I can't imagine. Okay. Hello? Where am I now then? Troll. Hmm. Okay, I went through the long winding corridor. At least it says which ones are blocked off. So I can't accidentally mess up in that way. Hello. What is this? You're on one side of a large, deep chasm. A white mist rises up from below to obscure much of the far side. A southwest path leads away from the chasm into a winding corridor. Um. I think that might be the troll that this area is named for. There's, there's another There's fish. a threatening dwarf. A sharp knife is thrown. Bloody dwarves. Ah! It missed. Okay, it missed. There's another bin. Why is there another bin? That's weird. Got my little fires. Hello, mate. You're on one side of a large, deep Guess I can't chasm. see it from here. A white mist rises up from below to obscure much of the far side. A southwest path leads away from the uh, chasm. I think that going too near corridor. this fella is going to be a mistake. Let's save my game again, shall we? Hello! A burly troll stands by the bridge and insists you throw him a treasure before you may cross. Oh! I have some treasure. The troll steps out from beneath the bridge and blocks Hi. your way. Hi. Hey. Uh, large well, this... gold nugget. Eh? There is a large sparkling nugget. Of... I guess large I have to. Large gold nugget. That won't work here. No one treads on my bridge without payment. Bye. Okay, so I've lost a treasure to the troll. Maybe there's a way to get it back later? Oh, there he goes. If not, uh, then that's not how you get the maximum score. What a frightening sight. A terrible place to fall. I'll try not to. The troll lives below. Don't try to follow him. What if I do, though? What happens if I do? I'm so curious. Why can't I get my hand back up now? The troll lives below. Is it just because Don't I'm not allowed to, to, to... him. I'm not allowed to follow the troll. Let me follow the troll. Stop. Oh, pay troll. Right, yeah, yeah. It yeah. says stop. Pay troll. Yeah. Okay. Right, but what's over here? Well, okay. Alright. Well, I paid the troll. I paid the troll toll. Oh, I don't love this. This doesn't feel good. This doesn't feel good at all. It's so dark! Well, we didn't die to a troll, so... You know. Swings and roundabouts. Okay, 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 okay. Uh... Hello? Uh, left? I should have been doing labyrinth rules, really, and just taking all the left turns. Ooh, hello. What's that? Oh, it's a little pot. There are rare spices here. Ooh! It appears someone has been cooking over this small volcanic hotspot. Okay, that's another treasure. You're in a small chamber filled with large boulders. What a the weird place to hang out and uh... the air in the room to be stifling from the heat. The only exit is a crawl Cook. heading west, from which a low rumbling noise can be heard. Oh wait. There was another There was an exit to the west. Oh whoa. You see a breathtaking view. 
far below lies an active volcano from which gobs of molten lava surge and cascade to the depths. Oh my god. The glowing rock bathes the cavern with a blood red glare, feigning a macabre appearance. The air is dense with sparks of ash, the smell of brimstone, and walls too hot to touch. The thundering volcano is so deafening it drowns out all sounds. It's pretty loud. Embedded in the jagged roof far overhead, twisted formations of white alabaster scatter the murky light to become sinister apparitions upon the walls. On one side, you see a deep gorge encasing tortured rock that seems to be crafted by the devil himself. Oh. To your left, an immense river of fire gushes from the volcano's depths. I then wouldn't say it's gushing, the gorge but yeah. plummet into a bottomless pit. On the right, a huge geyser of blistering steam erupts from a barren island within a bubbling sulfurous lake. Above, the wall flickers with a glow of its own, lending more infernal splendor to an already hellish scene. Infernal splendor. Damn shame I decided to leave the one ring at home. Could have been done with that. Okay, well I'm guessing I falling off there and just going down there is not a good idea, so... Let's just hurry away from there. Let's have a look at the old map. Uh, okay, I'm here. So I want to go southeast. east